Have you ever wondered how a Hyundai Tuscan is made? Let's find out in this video. The body, or shell of a car, is the first part to be manufactured, on which all the other components are incorporated. To construct this shell, huge steel rolls are brought into the factory. The steel rolls brought are cut into the desired shapes and sizes, and this process is called stamping. The door pillars, quarter panels, and other similar sheet metal parts are made by pressing the metal sheet with dies of the required shape. These stamping machines operate with a pressure weight of over 3,000 tons. The identical stamped sheets are then carefully stacked together with the help of automated robots. There are quality checkpoints after each stage in a production process. Here, the metal parts are visually inspected by quality control professionals carefully. If any fault is found, it's sent for rework, and if it's not repairable, then the part is rejected. The manufacturing process is to make the shell of the car. The floor pan is first made, which moves on the conveyor belt, while all the other parts are welded one by one, and the shell body slowly comes to life. These robots with huge articulating arms can place the body parts, each weighing around 80 to 90 kilograms, and weld them with great precision and accuracy that humans can only dream of. These operations are done at a very high speed as well as with minimal errors. The body moves on the conveyor belt to reach another quality checkpoint. The shell of the car, also known as Body in White, or BIW in short, is thoroughly checked by the quality control department in a well-lit room with a cloth soaked in highlight oil. Painting is probably the longest process in any car manufacturing. There are essentially three coats of paints which are applied, and the process slightly varies with each different manufacturer. Each coat has to be dried before the next one can be applied. The first one is an e-bath, or e-coat, or an electrostatically charged paint. The body is totally submersed in it for the paint to reach all the nook and corners of the shell of the car. E-coat, or electro-coating, is a process in which electricity is used to apply the paint coat on the body. The process is very similar to electroplating. An electrical charge is applied to the paint while the car shell is grounded. The paint is thus attracted towards the shell while it's dipped into the bath. This process is continued until the desired thickness is reached. The thickness is regulated by the voltage applied. Higher the voltage, thicker the paint film will build on the body of the shell. This is a very crucial paint coat, as it prevents the body from corrosion. The body is again dried and moves forward for applying the top coat color. This is also a fully automated process. The robots mix the colors and paint them with the exact composition, uniformly throughout, which gives the body the appearance that we see in car brochures. After the base coat is dried, a clear coat is also applied on the body. The clear coat is what gives the car the glossy appearance and protects the car from small scratches. Another quality checkpoint, where the professionals inspect to see if the paint covered all the parts of the body. The body is polished and buffed if ever any small imperfections are found on the body of the car. The body is again quality checked by several workers, looking for any faults. This area is well lit from all directions for proper visibility and to see the body in all lighting conditions. The engine and gearbox moves on a separate conveyor. In this assembly line, the engine is mated to the transmission system and drivetrain. The engine undergoes various tests to see if everything works well. 
There are several vigorous quality checks as well to ensure the proper working of the engine, which is the heart of the car. The painted shell body moves to another conveyor and various components like roof lining, dash panel, wirings, interior and exterior lights are then installed along the assembly line. Some of the parts are fixed by assembly workers with the help of robotic arms while others are done manually. This process is called marriage where the chassis is integrated with the body shell. Now the car moves to receive the final trim components like seats, tires, battery, and more. The seats are placed by robots. Notice how precisely they're placed such that the rails of the seats don't touch the body. Once the tires are fixed, the car is then placed on the ground and the remaining parts are also fixed. Assembly is done with great care, as to not scratch any of the surface of the newly painted body. The vulnerable parts, such as the fender and quarter panel, are all covered to keep them safe from scratches or dents. The doors are then installed on the cars after the door pads, windows, beatings, and the wiring is done. This process is generally done by assembly workers with the help of hydraulic movers, which helps them to carry it around. The car is now at the final quality checkpoint of the assembly line. Once all the checks are done and all the boxes are ticked, the car is started for the first time. It's driven through a test track inside the factory where its suspension, braking, steering, and other performance perimeters are checked after which it's all ready for being shipped to the market. Let us know which manufacturing process you like the most in the comments below.